of your brain being stretched for heart. Really now? You mustn't shirk your duty, lest you forget tis the arisen we serve here. We're here, and none the worse for wear. Make haste, then. We must leave anon. Good. Then let us be on our way. Find place to harvest some ingredients. We've got goblins! One cannot be too careful. Trounced our foe well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders. They are not dealt with like. They're still in the one world. Regardless, do well not to be. The Arisen has been put to sleep. Arisen, are you alright? In relation to that, we've not counted a thief among our number for some time. We've no need of a thief if we are content to overwhelm our foes with sheer force.
An impressive view. We can infer much of the lay of the land from here. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. True enough. just realized we all share the same vocation if it is by the arisen's design I shan't question it it may prove difficult to account for each other's weaknesses Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearance. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to- It is uncertain. This what? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, if the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however... All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. As a matter of fact, curious thing, one of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Aught may have befallen it. Best we press on.
Shall we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come. We've much to be getting on with. Everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. I have but two words for that performance. Utter perfection. Let's just aim for greater precision with our next attempt.
I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. To think I'd be caught unawares. I am shamed. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their... I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive... Shall we discuss tactics now? This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. There's ought to be found there. Can you not see it? We ought to take a closer look. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be we must not let them Understood. I shall proceed ahead. Hmm. 
Have you forgotten something, Arisen? You're looking rather lost. Oh, well spotted. Indeed. Good on you for being so observant. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find.
I shall do as you say. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. What's this? We're trapped! taken you for another force arisen, yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid is dispelled. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. Of course, if you'd rather continue to... Well now! The road's blocked. The cart can't... The powerful current ought to set this rock to crumbling. Such treasures are seldom found. Uh, master, uh, do take care not to throw it away by mistake. Let me get that. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox cart and... An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost.
just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Rotten luck! We need your aid again, sir. Seems we drove them off. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of all right? Into the ox cart. Not every little thing we reported. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed. He is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before you, and no other, are the sovereign the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, 
Your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Disa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Disa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital.